Hey everybody, welcome back to Cordova's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making some cinnamon apple cherry cups. <laughs> we'll call them that. <laughs> Not sure what to call them, so that's what we'll go by. So let's get started. Okay, this is what I have. It is a two pack of your cinnamon rolls. You don't have to get um, the two pack. You can just get one if, if there's only one or two of you. But for us, I have uh, my husband and my two grandsons and sometimes their parents pop in too. So, and my other son. So that's why I always make a little bit extra because I never know who's going to pop in. So let's get started. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I have three of my little cupcake tins. Sorry, that might have been a little loud. I'm going to go ahead and spray the pans and get that, whoops, if I can do it. We're just gonna give it a, a quick little squirt, if I can aim. <laughs> I wouldn't win at no target shooting, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's pop these open. These things always make me nervous. I always cringe when I go to open them, but let's see what they do. I always turn, oh, turn my, <laughs> like that's going to make a difference. <laughs> okay, we're going to save this for the topping. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get these all out. Let me see if I can pan you down a little bit. Okay, let me adjust my camera. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take all of these out. This is gonna be a quick video. This is something really quick. Okay, we're just gonna toss that in the trash. And now is what we're gonna do, we're gonna take each muffin Okay, my oven is preheated and we are going to push that down and let it come up the sides just a little bit. Okay, just like that. So we're pushing it down and let it come up the sides just a little bit. We're just making a little, like a, a little cup to cradle our our goodies. Now, I'm gonna get those all done. I have some apple pie filling, okay? And this is from good old Wally World. <laughs> and I've got these a while back at Aldi's. And these are some special selected dark Morello cherries. So we are gonna put some of those and some of them as well. I've been looking for a recipe to use these with, and I thought, now nah, this looks like a good recipe to, to try them. So let's get all these pushed down in. It don't take no time at all. Okay. Here's number six. Okay, so that's what they should look like. Okay, so just little cups, just to hold our goodies. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting these all done. I have another one to, to do here, and these last two, and then I'll come back.
So that is our other apple ones. So I'm gonna get these in the oven. It's at 350 degrees and uh, it's probably gonna take probably 15, 20 minutes. I'll let you know when they come out. I'll be back. Hey everyone, they just come out of the oven. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I have all of them out. I already took the cherry out. The cherry got done a little bit quicker. But don't forget, we're going to put frosting, drizzle the frosting on the top. So let's go ahead and get these out of here, which the cherry ones ooh, came right out. I got dug right into that instead of the side. Okay, let me get a spoon. I didn't spray the sides. I only sprayed the bottom. Like I said, I'm not a good target. <laughs> Try not to burn myself because they are very, very hot. That one is falling off. But that's okay. They're still going to be edible. Come on. Okay, I'm going to get these last two out. Oh, that one's all dried out. Ooh. They are hot. Kind of scooch the top off of there. I'm just mm, making a mess. Oh, that is hot, hot, hot. I'll get those out in a minute. Let me get this one out of the way. Okay, this is what they are looking like. And now we are going to give them this is the uh, frosting that came in the that little plastic cap that comes with the cinnamon buns. Now this, we're just going to drizzle on top. This is a very, very quick and easy recipe. And if this gets a little bit thick, you can always, I put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, but it's been sitting here for a couple minutes waiting on these to come out of the oven. They look really, really good. And you can put as little or as much as you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do these right in the, right in the pan. Can you see me? I keep forgetting to not to put, or I keep forgetting to put my phone on do not disturb. My hubby was just calling. So I'm going to have to call him back. Okay. I want you to see these if I can get a hold of them. Look at those. Beautiful. So, you know what goes good with something like this? And that is some vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We have the cherry 
and then we have the apple and then we have some vanilla ice cream to go along with it so now the taste test I'm gonna go ahead and use a fork because I know I'll make a mess here Mm -mm -mm. Tastes like apple pie. Mm hmm. And with that vanilla ice cream, that gives it the nice cool coolness at the end when the the biscuit or whatever you want to call it is nice and warm. So I hope you give these a try. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, they help me grow my channel. And um, I look forward to you joining our family. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. The apple. We have cherry and some more apple. And of course, some vanilla ice cream. 